Hi guys, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I'm going to show you how to cache bust a CSS style sheet, meaning how to force the user's browser to load the style sheet from scratch on every page load. So the main thing that you need to know about this is that a browser is going to treat a CSS style sheet with a little query string after it as a completely new file that it needs to get that it's never seen before. So if it's used to loading mysite.com slash style.css and that file is in the browser's cache, meaning it's not looking for it new, it's just loading what it already has, then if you instead change your style sheet to this with a little query string, anything goes here, then the browser will say, oh, I need to, I can't use my cached version of this style sheet. I have to go get this new because this is obviously a new file because it's got this query string. Even though nothing about the file has changed, the browser is going to load the file new. And that means that you won't be running into problems with changes you make to your CSS styles um, not showing up in a particular browser because of browser caching. So this is the major trick we're going to use. Now, how does this work in a WordPress environment? So this is a local version of the WP Shout site. And let me show you how the style sheet is being loaded. Um, this is the link to the main style sheet. And as you can see, um, it's style.css. And then it's got like a, a little query after it that says ver equals 4.6. This is WordPress's default behavior, default way of caching, of um, cache busting style sheets. And it just changes every time there's a WordPress version update. So like 4.6.1 or 4.7 or whatever, right? Which is not very often. So you can still run into problems where, for example, you make a change on your site, but your users who have been to the site before still see the old version of the site and things look broken and everybody's confused. And so, um, I'm going to show you how to, if you're having that problem, I'm going to show you how to for sure eliminate it. So if you yourself enqueued the style sheet, then doing this is really simple. So this is our functions.php that we're running. And this is the line that loads the main style sheet. It's a call to WP enqueue style. And it currently has just two arguments. The, the, um, slug name of the style sheet and then where we can find the style sheet which is this just this call to get style sheet uri now we're going to add two more arguments the first argument is going to be blank and it's the style sheets dependencies so if there's already something here leave what's there there if there's nothing you have to leave it blank because you that you have to um put something in there for this parameter in php so we've got our first two arguments then a third blank argument that just means we're not adding anything that wasn't already here. And then the fourth thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a variable rand, which we're going to define right now. So what we want rand to be is we want it to be a random number that is never the same on any two page loads, right? So it's a random number between one and whatever this very large number is. So it's never going to be the same twice. And what we're saying when we do this is we're saying, please enqueue WP shout style here's where to find it. There are no dependencies. So there's no new dependencies that we didn't already list. And this is what you put on the query string. This is what you do for cache busting. So when you save this, and then we go and reload this page, look, style.css has just this random large digit number for its version. Now when we reload again, it's got another completely random number, completely different number. Then when we load it again, another random number. And your users are all going to be seeing the same thing. So when, when a user comes, their browser is going to say, oh my goodness, I've never seen this style sheet before. I've seen style.css, but I've never seen style.css question mark and then a random number. And so um, no browser is going to be relying on its cached version of of that style sheet. So any change you make to that style sheet is gonna, is gonna show up right away. So the next thing I wanna show you how to do is what if you didn't enqueue this style sheet? What if this code maybe lives in a plugin or something like that, something that you don't have access to? How can you do this? Well, what you need to do is you need to write a plugin and I'll just show you what that plugin looks like. Um, 
And this is going to go um, in an article that I'm going to link to in the description. So if you want this code, just, um, just follow the link in the description. Basically, this registers a plugin because the right place to do what we're about to do is in a plugin. And then it's just got one function which we hook into WP and Q scripts. Now the function is called pressed up or WP shout or whatever. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. So I just named it WP shout for CSS refresh. And here's what it does. It first dequeues the style sheet. It dequeues the existing style sheet. And here is where you need the slug name of the style sheet. So let me show you how to find that. The slug name of a style sheet is its ID minus the dash CSS part. So the slug name of this style sheet is admin bar. The slug, slug name of this style sheet is dash icons. And the slug name of the style sheet we actually care about is WP shout dash style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to DQ that style sheet. And then, so that means we don't want that style sheet loaded anymore. Then we're going to define our random number. Again, a number from whatever, 0 to 10 billion or whatever that is. And then we are going to re enqueue the same style sheet. Enqueue in style, WP shout style. And this is where you find it. So the place we are actually able to find it is just get style sheet URI in this case, but you would need to write this, um, you know, to match wherever the style sheet that you're looking for is located. It might be located in a plugin. It might be located anywhere. And then does it have any dependencies for us? The answer is no. And then the fourth argument is Rand. So I won't go to the process of uploading this plugin and showing you that it works. Basically the, the only thing that's new here is that you first have to de if you don't have access to the code that enqueues the style in the first place, then you need to dequeue the style first and then re enqueue it from the same location with this third argument, whatever it is, and then the fourth argument being like a random number. So that's how you cache bust a CSS style sheet in WordPress. Now, is this a good idea in all cases? I would say no because um, if you're just make, making minor changes to your style sheets, um, browser caching is one of the things that makes your site a little bit faster to load for users. And, and so unless you're having trouble with like, you make giant, giant changes to your site's style sheet and your users aren't seeing them. And so that the, your users think your site is broken. That that's the situation where I would, where I would put this in place. I wouldn't just blanket do it on every site I worked on. Okay. Thanks for watching.